Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, I'll be letting you know how you can turn the storm into a damaging sniper rifle capable of blowing enemies apart and draining health bars in quick fire time. It's a great gun on its own, but there's a couple of items you can add to the mix to increase its damage dramatically. So I'll be letting you know what gear you want to pair with it, let you know where you can get them, and give you tips on achieving its maximum DPS. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like, and hitting that sub button helps keep the videos coming. Don't forget to let me know about any legendary combos like this one that you think should be showcased, and let's crack into it. So we'll start with the highlight of the setup, and it's the Storm, a Maliwan sniper rifle that only shoots lightning. It has an increased chance to drop from Red Jabba that you fight around here in the Amber Mar. The Storm is often a gun that goes unrecognized, firing a single lightning bolt at the cost of 2 ammo per shot. Each shot summons 4 electric orbs which rise into the air and periodically zap any nearby enemies. Combining that with something like the Infernal Wish which is obtained in arms race with an increased chance to drop from this chest, will double the summoned orbs whenever you have some charge in it increasing its damage twofold and creating an even more powerful unique effect. That effect often plays second fiddle to its single shot damage which creates a wide shockwave on impact that just disintegrates anything it touches. In Moses' hands it's incredibly deadly and might even be her best choice sniper rival that won't kill you. Landing criticals causes some serious damage and even misplaced shots are powerful enough to wipe away armored mobs. Because it's purely elemental and deals splash damage, Amara can utilize Tempest and her splash damage skills to create a force on the mobbing front. It annihilates opponents with ease, and if you're specced into indiscriminate, you can get orbs popping up all over the place, creating your very own raging thunder. Speaking of orbs, if you thought 8 per shot was plenty, then let's try 12. On Zane and Flak, if you're specced into playing Dirty or Two Fang, you can add an extra projectile on top of the Infernal Wish, making it even more deadly, and it doesn't end there. Not only can they increase the amount of orbs, but their damage too. Flak is able to land each bolt as a critical through Megavore, and Zane with his Hustler mod. That second damage source is great for stripping shields, proccing abilities, and ensuring that the damage doesn't end, however it won't proc salvation. The Storm's unique effect can also be taken to heights not seen by many if not any legendary weapons. I'm talking heights higher than Snoop Dogg, well maybe not that high. To take it there you'll need the Guardian Angel Shotgun, a vault card reward obtained from the Fallen Heroes vault card as part of the Director's Cut add-on. The Guardian boosts your damage the further you are from your enemies and because it keeps dealing damage beyond the initial shot. Swapping to the Guardian will massively increase its damage. Not many legendary weapons have a unique effect that enables you to do that, and you can use that tactic to drain the health of bosses insanely quickly. And if you're game enough, you can even bring it into the mobbing arena. It's a fantastic avenue that you can tap into and makes the Storm an even cooler gun than it was before. Overall, the Storm is an awesome weapon that can be enhanced in more ways than one. The Infernal Wish increases the number of summoned orbs, which can then be boosted by the Guardian Angel to extreme effect. Moes can blast through mobs, Flak and Zane can upscale the number of orbs and criticals, and Amara can increase its shock damage and cover the field in mini storm clouds. All of this combines to make an incredible weapon like no other. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, learned about the storm, its unique effect, and how you can use it in combination with a couple of items to take it to a whole new level. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.